Agent Michaels has gone dark. She was my wife. We're gonna bring Lila back. My favorite American! We need to help a friend. There is nothing money cannot buy in this country. They have him clocks running. Violent psychopaths. Killers. What happens in Russia stays in Russia. Deadshot. Arrow, all new. This Wednesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Hello, people. Welcome to Flux Media. This is my channel. Vizzle, dizzle, nizzle, whizzle. Okay, so we're here to talk about Arrow today. It has been around for for, so, for some time now. Uh, it's uh, in its se second season so far. And it is about a guy uh, named Oliver Queen who has been stranded on a uh, mystery island for five years. Which made him uh, quite a tough guy actually. And uh, he became like this superhero and he's trying to... Um, the first season is actually all about him trying to avenge his father's death and making the city a better place by killing bad guys. Well, um, this first season ends in a... Co 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 is the first season has quite the end, but I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't seen it already. So I'm just going to continue with season 2 with this, ep this week's episode. That was episode 6 called Keep Your Enemies Closer. Well, um, this guy... Um, had his brother has been shot by uh, this other bad guy called Deadshot and um, his ex-fiance was captured in Russia and they're gonna have to go to Russia to free her from prison and also Oliver Queen has his connections in Russia because he knows a guy there that he's saved from the island and it's all all, all a big story you just have to watch the episode and you'll, you'll uh, understand it all anyway so uh, Diggle's ex-fiance gets captured and taken to Russia to a prison um, Oliver Queen and his assistant and John Diggle try to free her from this prison being helped by one of the Russian guys. So, anyway, um, actually the, the, the last few episodes were, really were about Oliver Queen and his relationship to Sarah, uh, with, who returned after, um, which I really didn't see coming actually, it was really quite, quite a plot twist if you ask me. It was really amazing to see how they're handling it in uh, in the show. I really like the show. The first season was a bit a bit hard to uh, get by, to um, comb through, because it was it was really yeah it, it was fun, but not like I was whoa, it's so fucking amazing. I really don't want to want anything else. It was good, but it was not that good. And I really gotta say that the second season really turned it around for me. So far, I have really enjoyed Arrow's episodes, and this week's episode was by far the best I've had, the best I've seen in this season so far. Well, like I said, it was all about Diggle, uh, and he really deserved this episode to be focused on him instead of on Oliver Queen, because um, all the episodes so far have really been about Oliver and not about Diggle. And I really wanted to see where the de whole Deadshot tale was going to going to lead. And I gotta say, man, what an episode! Because there was another plot twist which I didn't see coming actually. Let's just dive into this week's Keep Your Enemies Closer. <laughs> well, uh, the other thing I wanted to say about this week's Arrow was that I really like the character of Diggle. I really enjoy his work in this show and I really appreciate, appreciate him for being incredibly sensible and really being Oliver's conscious. And I really that that really um, puts another 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 aspect to, to the entire role, which I really think they they executed pretty good because um, Oliver has, especially in the first season, Oliver really was like this guy just kept on killing and killing and killing, and there was Diggle was like, oh man, you got to do stuff different and blah blah blah, you got, and he, so I, like I said, he really is his conscience, and I really like how they did that. This week's episode really was was put put him in another light because when it comes to Deadshot and the guy who killed his brother, he really like like changes. You can see him change. He becomes really aggressive and really wants to go go at it head on. You know, it's really amazing how they did that. And of course, it wasn't too toned down because there was you got to see enough of the diggle that we diggle that we know, and not really the diggle that they um, they tried to come out let come out in this episode. Well, so uh, Team Arrow went to Russia to save Lila, 
which is uh, Dago's ex-wife, to save her from uh, from a Russian prison. Prison, and the prisons. I really like this this uh, the Russia episode because they really showed uh, us a lot of uh, amazing stuff. Especially what I love, the the best scene from this episode was, has got to be the scene where. Um, Oliver is standing there uh, outside with that Russian guy that he knows a Russian mobster. Or I think he's a mobster, I don't know anyway. Anyway, it's it's a Russian guy. And um, they're trying to get something, the car keys to a car. And um, Oliver goes over there and whispers something in Russian in his ear. But I really, there's no, no, um, lyr uh, uh, God, how do I say this? Um, subtitle as to what, what did he say? Does anyone know what he said in that scene? I really really need to know because the guy really reacted like oh, did you just say that and threw the car keys and rah, they run away but i really want to know what they said and anyway they went uh, diggle went inside the prison to uh, save his ex ex uh, ex wife and um or ex fiance i really don't know i think ex wife is the, is the best term because they actually were married i think um and the plot twist in this episode was that Dago had to work together with Deadshot, his is his um, yeah how do you his main the main villain in this episode really the bad guy and he had to work together with him to save his ex-wife because Deadshot was the only one who knew where um, his ex ex-wife was so he had to work together with him that was really really a plot twist and didn't see that coming and um, even though he didn't want it. Diggle sucked it up and just stuck with it. He just stuck with that shot and rescued his ex-wife. And Oliver Queen came in and saved the day and just uh, kicked everyone's ass like he always does. And then only he did not did not have his bow and arrow this time, which is pretty sucky because I really like the uh, bow and arrow uh, uh, subject of the show. I really like how they did that, and I really like. How, how incredibly fast he can shoot arrows, like wah, wah. like that, that fast. Did you see that? That fast. Anyway, um, they rescued his ex-wife, they went into the car, they drove away, but then they go make that, uh, that shot was still in the car with them because they, he had to escape with them. And um, they go made him get out of the car and he stepped out with him and I really thought, whoa, this is the moment where he's going to kill him. He's really going to kill him. Like, it's not a joke right now. He has to kill him because he shot his brother. And then something happened. He let him go. He let him go. I really don't understand why he let him go. I would have shot him already. But I think the reason why he didn't shoot that shot is because Lila was there. And he didn't want to lose another person in his life. That would make the most sense, right? Because um, if he shot that shot in front of her, she would see how he really was. And she would be like, oh no, I don't want to be with you. You're a murderer. 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 So he let him go. And in return, that shot said something about um, the, his, his brother, Diggle's brother, being the real target. And not him missing the real target. And that made Diggle think, that who, would, who would want my brother be dead? And what, what, what was my brother into? That, that, those were really the questions that popped out into my head while I was watching the scene. So I think in, a, in I hope in, a, in the upcoming episodes we really get to see um, why why um, his brother was was murdered and what he was into. So all in all, I really liked this episode. It was a great uh, and it also the flashbacks. Every episode in Arrow has like a flashback to Oliver's time on the island. And the island, uh, st like two, there's two two stories in this show. You have the story in the now in the present, where uh, Oliver Queen is trying to um, get rid of the bad guys in his town, and just be awesome. And you have the storyline that plays when he was uh, on the island. And the island storyline is also a separate story that's really awesome because we really want to see what happened to him on the on the island because we don't know what happened to him. We know a part of the story, but we don't know the entire story. So I'm really curious as to see is what they're going to, what, what the story is going to bring us. Because um, so he he was on the island, he met a guy, uh, he trained him. Uh, the guy got killed, and then he met uh, that guy's daughter and another guy, 
uh, the guy who played in Spartacus, which was an, he's an awesome character, uh, awesome actor by the way. I really like him in Arrow also, and I hope he, I really hope he doesn't die. He's called Slate in the in the show anyway, um, and that's that's just really awesome because I really like the the two separate storylines in the show, and I'm really curious just to see what they're going to do with this separate storyline. Because um, both stories have like have like uh, cliffhangers at the end of the episode, the the present story and the island story, which really makes it awesome to watch. Well, and there's an also another aspect of the show that I didn't really care that much about. That was um, Thea Queen, Oliver's sister, and her boyfriend Roy. I think his name is Roy. I really think that that they didn't really need that scene or their storylines. Just really, yeah. Who cares, right? We all want we all want to see what happens to Oliver on the island and off the island in the present. We don't want to see his sister getting her free con with some random guy. Well, it's not a random guy anymore because he's working together with the Arrow. But it sucks. I mean, who in the hell wants to see that? I sure as hell don't. Anyway, what do you think about this week's Arrow? I I loved it. It was amazing. It was really good. And I hope they continue this, uh, this, this, um, th these good episodes because they really bring something else to these to the show. Because the first season was really, really boring sometimes and really not that. Yeah, like wow, this is really a show worth watching, you know. But yeah, I hope the second season continues like they're continuing now. And I'm really curious as to what's going to happen. Anyway, um, that was my episode for this this day. Thank you for watching. I'll um, upload Homeland in the upcoming days. Also, uh, Thor The Dark World. I will, I will review that movie in uh, one of my upcoming episodes. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe to my channel Flux Mania for all your television news. Subscribe to our main channel eMania for all your gaming news, let's plays and game reviews. It's an amazing channel, I hope you really enjoy it, and that's it for today. Catch you on the flip side, my nigga face up, face up, face up.